Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today I will talk about a Mac application that I really love and need to use. When I switched from Windows to Mac, I always had a feeling, yeah, Mac, everything is sorted and you don't have to care about file management and all this. However, I very quickly realized that a lot of chunk fills up in the back. And when I'm deleting applications, there are still residues of these applications in my file system and so on. So I was looking for different tools to clean up my Mac. And it's actually called Clean My Mac. That's the solution that I consistently use now. And it is not sponsored by Clean My Mac. It is sponsored by you, my Inner Circle members. Thank you very much for watching this video, for being in my Inner Circle membership. And if you're not one of my Inner Circle members, it is a membership where you will have access to online courses for certain tools, to my master classes, discounts on certain tools and productivity guides and so much more. If you want to learn more about this, just go to the description below and check it out. And without further ado, we will just switch to my screen here. So here you see how it looks like. And I have to say, I really like the style of Clean My Mac. The animations are fun and yeah, I don't know. It is different. It is a complete new style and I really like it. So we can have a smart scan here and I can just press the scan button and it will start looking up for the three things, what we can clean up, what is the chunk files and so on, about protection of my Mac, are there any issues and general speed performance improvements. So I just stopped the scan because it would take too long now, but we see already removes unneeded chunk 3.9 gigabytes already filled up again. Now we can go to review details and it shows me where it found all this stuff. Stuff. So for example, in my trash bins, I have nearly one gigabyte of trash. I have cache files, 1.8 gigabytes. And I can again click here and see in what applications I have these cache files. So cache files are actually information that is stored temporarily somewhere. So applications will start quicker, but over time it can fill up and it is worth deleting. It will just create new cache files then later on. And you see also other cache files, log files, and we have mail attachments. So I'm using Spark. It also goes into your you installed email application, not only Apple email, but it also looks in here and sees the email attachments that are downloaded and not in the cloud anymore. And now I could go just go back, click here, run. And now you see it's cleaning it up with a simple press of a button. So you see just with the click of a button, I cleaned up my system by 3.9 gigabytes. All right, and it would have done the other things as well. But let's now go through what we see there as well. So system chunk, we were already there, so we can scan all these things individually if we like. We have the malware removal, we can scan there. Privacy, so removes browsing traces, sweeps up your chat data and so on. Then we have optimization. Here you see recommendations what you could do to further improve. So for example, login items, launch agents. So it shows you all the stuff that is loading when you start up your Mac and you can individually disable or enable these things. So they are not loading when you're starting your Mac. This improves performance and we have heavy consumers, which is OBS. This is really the thing that I'm recording this right now. And this takes up a lot of resources and this is why it's showing up here. And we see here hung applications. Whenever an application stops working, they will be listed here. So we have uh, maintenance, so we can free up RAM, we can free up purchable space. So you see, you can purge up to 353 gigabyte from your disk. So it recognizes stuff that can be deleted. And in all these cases, it asks you if it should delete this and so on. So maintenance scripts, we can run flush DNS cache. So we can really go into detail. We can even minimizing backups and so on. So we have the uninstaller and it shows us when we click here, all the applications that we have installed. So instead of going to our applications folder, that's the usual way we uninstall stuff. We would go to applications, go here and right click and move to bin. I now rather go in here and it, I will uninstall it this way. What this does, it actually shows you the details. See, there's a lot more than only one thing that you delete. 
delete. So when you install it this way, it will also delete all the related stuff to this application. For example, cookies. Not always the cookies are deleted when you delete the application and so on. So this is the reason why I'm using now clean my Mac in order to uninstall the stuff. Then we have the updater. Here you see all the applications that are ready for an update. So I can now select them all and just update all three of them with a click of a button. Otherwise, I need to go into the application. Maybe there's a pop-up coming telling you there's an update available, but sometimes it's not even a thing. So here you can really keep track of applications that can be updated and you see now it's downloading the newest update and installing the update for these applications. We can go to extensions and we see here view all extensions. This is when you're using Safari, for example, and here you see the extensions that are installed on Safari. And here we have Spacelands and I really like this one because here you can get a visual comparison between this, how the space is used. So I can click scan here and it will build a storage map. You see here already a map of the folders that use the most space. When I go here, you see users use up the most space. And this makes sense because in there I have my Dropbox installed and then I need to free up space. But when I click on this, it will zoom in and show me the subfolders that use the most stuff. And so I click here and now I see Team Solid, Dropbox and library. So these two are filling up all my stuff. So I can go into my Dropbox folder now and there I see with the Thomas Riddle YouTube, we have the most folders that fill up really these folders. So now, for example, I see that this folder, I actually don't need it anymore because this video is already published. So I can go here, reveal in Finder. It will open up the Finder and select this folder. With Dropbox, you can have something called Smart Sync. So I just right click on this and go to smart sync and I say online only so it will delete it from my drive and it will keep it online only and this way I can identify very quickly the locations that use up a lot of space here we have a different way to find and identify files that we might don't need so let's make another scan so you see we already have 14 gigabytes coming up there and there we go and you see all files there are 14 gigabytes and you see here I have a recording this is taking up eight gigabytes. And again, I can right click reveal and finder and I see now directly what this is. Do I really need to keep this? Can I delete this? This is really the best and most efficient way to actually delete your stuff. And then we have a shredder. This means we can erase information or data that nobody else should be able to recover. But the thing is, it doesn't stop there because we have it on top here. And when I click there, I have a great overview about all my systems. With my MacBook, which shows me now the space that is available. I can click here for free up space. I have my RAM, my memory that is available on my Mac, but I also see my iPad. I can go here and it shows me the space on my iPhone. And this iPhone, as you can see here, the iPhone is not connected to my MacBook, but it is connected via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and it shows up here. So I see the battery status of these devices. That's really nice. I see also the trash. So as soon I can set a limit here and it assume it exceeds two gigabytes. It will gives me an information that I should delete my stuff on my trash bin. I see the battery. I see the, the tools that are running, my CPU usage, my network usage. I can test the speed by just clicking here. And I even see my Dropbox information on here. So that's really nice. So. I hope I was able to show you why Clean My Mac is really a great solution and that it is a must have application on the MacBook. It helped me so many times to free up space that I didn't know that I was actually blocking on my Mac or was just junk. That was really, is really helpful. And it also gives you some notifications like if an application stops working, it tells you, hey, an application stopped working. Should we just force quit it? Should it stay running and so on? On. This really became useful in so many different situations that it really became my must-have tool that I need to have on my MacBook. If you think this was interesting and you want to check this out, make sure that you go to the description below. I will put a link there where you can get Clean My Mac. And if you want to stay tuned about the latest and greatest software and hardware solutions when it comes to productivity, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up next time.